Today on the Boot Guy, we're talking about Sorel Paxson. Insulated, waterproof, it's a nice looking boot. Now for many of us, when we think about Sorel, we think about ice fishing boots. We think about extreme outdoor footwear. And it's been years since Sorel was that company. Lately, they've been more of a casual company, more building boots for casual outdoor type wear. A lot of ladies boots, a lot of kids boots, and a few men's styles are left in the line that could actually double as work boots. The Pax is just one of those boots. 200 grams of thin slate, 100% waterproof, a urethane rubber combo sole. One of the nice things about this sole is this concave shape to it. So as you walk, it displaces the left and right side, so you get some grip and you get a lot of traction with this boot. The outside of the boot is the classic Sorel design. It's the rubber and leather stitched together to give it that look where it's that combo classic Sorel winter boot look. Sorel uses a mixture of Nubuck, waterproof Nubuck, with this nylon Cordura type material. It's a little bit closer to ballistic nylon or equestrian Cordura, so it's not as tough as the military grade stuff that you'll find on a lot of tactical boots. But for this type of boot, you really don't need a material like that. You just need something that's going to repel a lot of water and it's going to hold up to a little bit of abuse. The lacing system is classic Sorel, classic outdoor type winter lacing system. Heavy duty big D rings, rounded good laces on these speed lacing systems that you could actually lace and unlace this boot with a pair of gloves on. At the top of the boot you're going to find a nice polypropylene pull on which in my opinion could probably be chopped off. It's not really going to do much for you when you're putting this thing on or taking it off, but it looks nice. Now the sole is a dual density sole, which it's not only the rubber in the bottom, but you're getting an EVA midsole between the forefoot and the heel. So you're going to be able to put a lot of impact and a lot of stress into this boot and it's going to remain comfortable. Now we got to get to this clip, this clip and this strap. This is basically useless on this boot. This was only added as an aesthetic for the boot. And when I say that, I really mean it. This thing is completely useless. They could have left it off, but you got to remember that this boot is a casual boot. This is a casual taking the kids to the park. This is a casual boot going outside to clean off the car, taking a walk over to Starbucks to get a hot chocolate in the middle of the afternoon. That's what this boot is geared for. This isn't really a work boot, a hunting, or a fishing boot. This is a playtime boot. And you need a playtime boot to look like a playtime boot. It's got to have some style and some fashion. It's got to say, hey, look at me, I'm a winter boot. And Sorel does a really good job of putting that together with this boot. Now, inside the boot, what you're going to find is a beautiful polyester. And it's one of the higher points of the boot because with the 200 grams of thin slate that they add to it, they always use a really nice thick foam. Now that foam kind of impedes on the breaking of the boot because it doesn't make it a very flexible upper but when you put your hand inside there it really does feel good. It's nice, it's soft, it feels cushiony. It feels like this is something that if you had to stand around at a high school football game or a hockey game or something like that where it's kind of chilly and it's kind of cold this boot would do a really good job keeping you warm. Now Sorel used a very basic insole. It's just a simple EVA urethane type insole, nothing fancy, but mixed together with the midsole in the boot and the hard footbed that they have inside, yeah, they have a hard footbed in there. So it's going to shape and form to your foot, which is going to give you a couple years out of this boot since you're only wearing it at the winter time this thing's going to shape and form and actually be really comfortable. Now size and a fit on this thing, well, unfortunately, it's not an apples for apples. If you're a 12 in your regular work boots or outdoor boots, you're not buying a 12 in this and it's going to fit you right. You're going to have to go a full size, maybe even two sizes, in order to get this boot to be where it should be. And that place 
is lofty. You want air to move around inside a boot like this. You don't want anything tight because when you start to constrict the foot in a winter boot that's actually being purchased and being used in lower temperatures, if there's constriction, you're gonna get cold. So definitely you're gonna to wanna to go one full size, half size, maybe even two in order to get that right fit. All in all, the Sorel Paxton is a great casual boot. If you're looking for something to get you through the winter and you're not working in it, you just need a casual boot to go to and fro, to run your errands in so that you're dry and you're warm. The Sorel Paxton's a really good choice. Now, if you're thinking about working in the Sorel Paxton, you should probably look somewhere else. There's a lot better boots on the market that are gonna hold up to working in. When I say working in a winter boot like this, if you're plowing, if you're doing snow removal, if you're even digging holes or doing any sort of work like that where you think a waterproof insulated boot like this is gonna do the trick, look somewhere else. There are tougher, stronger boots out there that have better soles that are geared towards work and better shanks. So that's the Sorel Paxton, tall, waterproof, insulated with 200 grams of insulation. Hey, if you've ever worn a Sorel Paxton, please comment below. Let guys know what you thought about the whole boot overall and how long it lasted you. Hey, if you wanna see some better photos of the Sorel or if you just wanna get a better idea on what this boot is, swing by to bootguy.com. There I'll have really detailed photos of the inside, the outside, the insole, and I'll also have a link that'll make it a lot easier picking a pair of these up and putting them on your feet. Hey, please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. It really helps out. And if you should have any questions about purchasing a pair of winter boots, insulated, waterproof, heavy-duty boots, or just casual boots in general, hey, shoot me over an email. Pick my brain. See what I got to say about the purchase you're about to make. All right. Until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.